What does it really mean to be optimal in Mortal Kombat 1 or any fighting game for that matter? A lot of you guys online are saying, no, one step, you need to be able to do this because that's more optimal. And it might do a bit more damage, but is it really optimal? A lot of you guys cry online that doing the most damage is the most optimal option, but I'm here to argue and say, no, it's not. Every fighting game has resources. In Mortal Kombat 1, we have our bars and we have cameos and spending those accordingly is optimal. Like you need to use those resources as smartly as possible and just throwing them out there for sake of 5% more damage is not always worth it. And here's what I mean. Take it one step at a time. So let me show you a quick, easy combo with Raiden and using Scorpion one time like this. Okay, 440 damage, that's one bar, one cameo. Let's go and do the same combo, but use both cameos, and let's see how that looks. Four hundred and fifty five damage. OK, so 17 more damage is 17 more damage really optimal or is maybe saving your cameo bar for the next play, whether to be using it defensively like this or more offensively for the next combo. Is that more optimal? I would argue yes, because by saving your cameo bar, let's say hypothetically your opponent wakes up and you land your next four, three, four of this combo. Well, now you already have the option to do another 438 damage combo compared to doing one 455 damage combo. You see what I'm saying? Like, yes, if it's gonna win me the game, that second combo might be worth it. But at the end of the day, saving your resources and using them, again, as smartly as possible is, I argue, more optimal. Every fighting game has resources, bars, supers, whatever. Getting the most damage can be optimal, but not always. Sub-Zero, makes you projectile invulnerable as a cameo and i love this move and i hardly ever see it used online most of the time people are going for the freezing move for combo extension and i get it it's good for combos but if your opponent's really zoning you out using this resource for this exact purpose is again arguably more optimal also real quick if you guys enjoy mortal kombat or fighting in content in general subscribe here for more because we have new videos monday and friday and we stream at least twice a week everyone loves to hate on serena as a cameo for what she offers when it comes to ground combo extension like this and yes, I get it. It can be quite annoying, but it is what it is. But is that always optimal? Again, sometimes. Other times, probably not. If I land my kicks in the corner, I'm gonna immediately throw down my bar drainage move with Serena and do my combo. So that way, yes, I'm not gonna get as much damage as if I had you, Serena, on the ground, but now my opponent is down a whole bar. So now they can't break her, they can't use their armor to wake up attacks, they can't enhance their special moves. That benefit alone, I argue, is way more optimal than doing an extra 20, 25 damage. You see what I'm saying? Like whenever I see a person doing this with Serena while I'm in the corner getting wrecked, I'm like, oh, they know what they're doing. They're playing smarter, not harder. They might not be doing the most damage in that instance, but now they're negating my option to do a wake up armored attack or do my breaker if I have at least two bars. That's also why it's so hard for me to argue that cameos like Darius or Tremor that take a full bar for a single move to call them optimal. I guess in some cases they're really good for certain things like that, but using the whole bar for a single restance move it's just, I find better options than other cameos. You could argue that using the whole bar is optimal in certain situations. I would rather use a different cameo that allows me to use half the cameo bar, get two uses out of it, but do a little less damage. Even if I have to work my combos around that cameo, that's fine. I'm just tired of showing off a combo or showing off a tip or a trick or whatever. And the whole comment section's like, that's actually not optimal. I'm like, but, but it kind of is. And then they're like, well, you can actually add two Two more damage if you did these 30 more hits and i'm like yeah but that requires two more bars and a cameo and my fatal blow for like two to ten more damage get out of here you have to do damage optimally and you have to use your resources optimally if you have that mindset right there you will win more fights i promise you. if you're always always just going for damage and nothing but damage sure you'll get some more wins yeah but you won't be the better fighter that i can promise i'm ranting let me know down below what do you guys think of what it means to be optimal in 
Mortal Kombat or any fighting game, do you think it means to do more damage? Or do you think that being optimal does need to take in consideration your resources and how you use them? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more of the best fighting game content and go ahead and click into these video next for more stuff.